Hi there, and welcome to the Clear Skin Essentials, and I'm your host, Natasha St. Michael, and thank you so much for joining me. So here at the Clear Skin Essentials, we're always talking about how to clear up breakouts and adult acne naturally. And today I want to talk about three steps to getting rid of flaky, dry acne skin. You know when your skin is super dry and it's flaking and it could even be irritated and cracked and, and just kind of raw and painful? How to get rid of that? Because I know some of you are dealing with this right now. While you have breakouts, your skin is just flaking and peeling and just awful. Or your skin is actually healing from the breakouts, but your skin is still really, really dry. And you got that flakiness and the irritation and, and it just, your skin can ache pretty much. And, and the most important thing is, is that you need to get your skin back to balance in order for your skin to heal better, okay? Because if your skin is super dry, that's what's gonna cause you to secrete more oil, which can cause you to actually have more breakouts. And at the same time, let's say you don't have any more breakouts, everything's starting to heal, but it's so dry, is, is that that can actually cause permanent marks and scarring because it takes a lot longer for your skin to heal and there could be issues. So we want to avoid all that, right? So today I want to share three steps. And most important, watch the whole video because the last step, I'm actually going to go through a very, very simple do-it-yourself recipe of a skincare kind of uh, ritual you can do once a week that will really help to bring your skin back to balance. All right, so let's get started. Step number one is your skincare routine. What I want is for you to start simplifying your skincare routine as soon as possible, okay? Like if you can, starting today, I want you just to get back to the basics. And the basics is, is just washing your face and if need be, using a very, very gentle moisturizer. That's it. Main thing is, is that when your skin is like dry and cracked and flaky and, and peeling, the last thing you need is like spot treatments and toners and serums and masks and all this stuff. You don't need it. It's just, your skin is so fragile when it's at that point where it's, it's peeling and, and inflamed and irritated. It doesn't need all these products. You're just making it worse. So my recommendation is, is to use the gentlest cleanser you can find. And what that means is don't use a soap cleanser, don't use a foaming cleanser, don't use anything that is gonna strip your skin. And how you'd know is after you wash your face, your face should not feel like super tight. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't be like super tight and shiny. That's when you know that like you've taken a little too much off your skin. And that can actually cause you to be secreting more oil to compensate for that dryness, okay? And you don't want that. Main thing is, is you wanna use something that's so gentle. And my two recommendations for a gentle cleanser would be honey, using a smooth raw honey and just washing your face with it, or doing the oil cleansing method. But if you've got really, really dry skin, with the oil cleansing method, I only want you to use one oil. Okay, no oil blend, no um, essential oils in it, nothing. Because the main thing is, is that when your skin is dry and flaky and, and irritated, you don't need those extra ingredients. That can really, it can just irritate your skin more. You really need to like get back to like the basics, a very, very simple skincare routine. And I've got videos showing how to wash your face with honey, as well as doing the oil cleansing method for acne prone skin. So I'll put links to those videos below. But the main thing is you wanna just use a gentle nourishing cleanser. And then if need be, your skin is super dry and you need a moisturizer, my recommendation is to use a plain oil, okay, as a moisturizer. And that would be like jojoba oil or grapeseed oil or even argan oil. And um, just put a drop or two on your skin. If your skin though, if it cannot handle oils, then use a moisturizer. But my recommendation is to find a moisturizer that it doesn't have fragrance in it, doesn't have added essential oils, doesn't have all these ingredients in it. Because again, if your skin is, is really like kind of raw, you know, where it's like raw and peeling, having those ingredients could irritate your skin more, even if it's in a moisturizer. So try and find something that's really like super basic. And that's why I like just a plain oil, because it really is very basic. And it'll just, it'll just coat your skin and help to bring some of that moisture back in, all right? So simplify your skincare routine. And one thing I do want to warn you, okay? Because I know some of you are going to do this and you're going to be like two days later being like, Natasha, my skin, it feels tight. It doesn't feel good. I'm getting breakouts. What's going on? I don't think this is working. 
you got to give it like at least two, two weeks, four weeks to do this, okay? And to start seeing your skin get back to balance because it's not going to take one day. And a lot of times when you, if your skin has been used to having so many products on it, the moment you stop putting those products on it, it needs to get back to balance. The pH needs to get back to balance. The moisture barrier has to strengthen. And your skin can actually feel like tight and, and even more irritated for a few days, maybe even a week, where it might feel a little bit not so good, okay? That's normal. Let it be. You have to kind of ride that out because it has to just balance itself out again. And you'll see if you continue with it, after at least two weeks, your, your skin will feel a lot more balanced, a lot less irritated, a lot less inflamed, and much better, okay? So give it time, be patient, but really, you know, be consistent. Second step is your diet, okay? You guys know I'm, I'm all about a healthy diet for a healthy skin. There's no way around it, okay? As much as we love skincare products, it's not gonna get you the results that your diet can. Okay, I promise you on this one. And there's two things in your diet that is most connected to dry, irritated, flaky skin. And I would say if you're gonna fix anything in your diet right now to really get rid of that flaky, dry, acne skin, my recommendation would be to decrease or completely eliminate sugars in your diet, specifically processed sugars. Sugars are really, they're, they're totally connected to inflammation of the body, okay, and irritation. And the thing about sugar, too, is that it's also known to break down collagen. And collagen is what helps to, to rebuild new tissue. That's what you need, is the collagen for new tissue and new skin cells and all of that. And if that's breaking it down, then it's delaying the, the healing process, it's inflaming your skin, it's irritating it more. It's just kind of standing in your way to having balanced, healthy, clear skin. Okay, so if you can, wherever you can, eliminate the sugar, okay? And the more that you eliminate, the better. And I know some of you might be thinking, well, what about like natural sugars like fruit and stuff? Well, if you're still eating candy bars, I would work on the candy bars and not even worry about the fruit, okay? Because a lot of times it's, it's, it's the processed stuff that's really, really contributing to the problem. And the second thing in your diet that I'd recommend getting rid of to really help to bring back the moisture in your skin and, and get it healing is coffee, okay? Coffee is dehydrating. Every single person I know that has cut coffee out, whether they were doing it for their skin or not, have always told me, oh my God, my skin is so much better once I eliminated coffee from my diet, okay? It's like, it's night and day the difference. And the reason for that is, is because coffee is dehydrating and it's, it's pulling out that, that moisture from your skin. And if you got super dry skin and it's like flaking and cracking and raw and painful, the last thing you need is to be drinking something every day that's like just sucking out the, the water out of your skin. You don't need that. So my recommendation is cut the coffee. Do the experiment and see. You'll be amazed. And let me know how, how great your skin looks because I would say probably after taking coffee out of your routine, it'll probably take like maybe a week or two to start seeing results, but you'll see it. You'll see a huge, huge difference that your skin will have a lot more moisture to it. It'll help to balance out that dryness. And, and even too, like for those of you that, that um, are in your mid thirties and up, you notice too that the signs of aging actually decrease from eliminating coffee. Because coffee, since it's dehydrating, if your skin's dehydrated, then emphasis of fine lines and wrinkles and all that stuff start really like becoming pronounced. So cut down on the coffee and you'll see a big difference, all right? And then the last step. This is a do-it-yourself recipe that I recommend to anyone that's got super dry skin that is flaking, chapped, irritated, and acne prone. And what it is is that it's a one ingredient face mask I want you to do once a week, maximum twice a week. No more than that, okay? You never wanna overdo these things. It's not gonna make it better. So it's a one ingredient mask. And all it is is that I want you to choose either fresh aloe vera gel from the plant, or you can use raw smooth honey. Okay, it's gotta be smooth, no granules in it, no texture. Or you can use a full fat yogurt or you can even use an oil. And an oil for this recipe I'd recommend is either grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, or argan oil, okay? And you're gonna choose just one ingredient. You're not gonna mix two together, just use one. 
And you're gonna, after you wash your face once a week, you're gonna put that one ingredient all over your face and your neck, and you're gonna leave it on your skin for 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Very, very important, just 20 to 30 minutes. And then afterwards, you're either gonna rinse it off with warm water, not hot water, but warm water, or you can even use a face cloth, a very, very soft, gentle face cloth. I like baby washcloths from Grovia. I'll put the link below. It has to be super soft, okay, if you're removing it from your face because if it's too rough, it's gonna irritate your skin and you're gonna use the washcloth to remove it. If your skin is really raw and painful at this point, I'd recommend just rinsing it very gently with water. But if it's not crazy raw and painful, then use the washcloth, because the washcloth will be added exfoliation. Main thing is about doing a mask like this is that it's gonna calm your skin, but it's also gonna gently exfoliate your skin. Because the big difference between like washing your face with honey and using a honey mask, or washing your face with oil and using an oil mask is that that 20 to 30 minutes that the, the, the product is on your face, it's softening up the buildup of dead skin cells, uh, buildup of debris that's getting caught in the dead skin cells, the buildup of sebum or oil, all that stuff that's building up on your dry skin. Because the main thing is, is that dry skin needs to be exfoliated. But it can't be exfoliated by like a scrub or like an exfoliating acid, like in a serum or a toner or something, because when your skin is super dry, it, it's too fragile to be using a scrub or like an exfoliating acid. You really, you want to exfoliate your, cell, your skin, but not with anything harsh. And I find using a mask with one of these four ingredients helps to completely exfoliate your skin because that 20, 30 minutes, it's on your skin, it loosens everything up, that when you rinse it off or use a face cloth to wash it off, is it picks up all the dead skin cells and removes everything that's building up on the surface of your skin so the healthy skin can come to the surface. And that's what you want, right? So try this out. It's, it's amazing to do. You'll be like, wow, I didn't know if I left oil on my skin for 20 to 30 minutes, just how soft, just how bright and fresh your skin is afterwards. And this will really help to slough off all that flaky skin that's kind of like stuck to your skin, to slough that off, get the new skin coming to the surface. And that will, over time, really help to heal your skin and balance it out. All right, so these are my three tips on how to get rid of that flaky, dry, acne skin. And yeah, get started. Let me know how it goes. And please subscribe to this channel. And for those of you that want to get rid of like breakouts and acne, do take my five day email course. It is fabulous. It goes through like diet and skincare tips on how to clear up your skin fast and easy. So go to my website at the Clear Skin Essentials to sign up to that. And I am wishing everyone a super fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.